Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I have the V-Nex Pogo Sports Headphones. So sit back and relax, and let me tell you all about them. The Pogo headphones are built for everyone, but they're especially built for people who play basketball, run, or anything with high activities. They have a frequency response of 40 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz, so the bass response and the highs are gonna be very crisp and detailed. They have Bluetooth 4.1 technology, and it only takes between two and two and a half hours to charge it to get up to eight hours of usage out of it. So let's take a look at what comes with them in the box. You get a quick startup guide, a carrying case, a USB charging cable, two additional rubber pieces for your ears, a shirt clip, and you get the headphones. These headphones come with a heavy duty wire and they also have magnets on the ends so you can connect them together whenever you're not using them to make sure they don't fall off your neck. They also have this adjustment so you can put it inside your ear to make sure they don't fall out. And that's what it looks like. They stay in pretty snug. In the center, they also have a right and left marking so you can know which ear to put it on. But the easy way to remember is the part that has the control on it is usually the right side. On the side, there's a rubberized door to plug it in to charge it. On the main side of the control unit, you have your volume up and down and if you press and hold them, you can change tracks when listening to music. In the center, you have a multi-function button. You can use it for powering up the device, pairing Bluetooth, pausing music, and also triggering different phone events. The cool thing about these headphones is that you can connect it to two devices if you need to. Let me show you how. The first thing you need to do is press and hold down the power button until it goes into Bluetooth mode. And way to tell, this light blinks red and blue. There's also a microphone in the back, just in case I didn't mention that earlier. From the first device, once you find Pogo, go ahead and press on it and wait to it to connect. It's connected to my first device, but if you want to add a second one, you want to go ahead and power down the first device and then we can pair the second one. The next thing you do is power off the headphone and then power it back on again until it goes into Bluetooth mode by holding down the power button until you see the red and blue light again, like so. Now from your second device, you should find the Pogo again in the Bluetooth setting. Go ahead and press on that and now it's connected. So once you get the second device connected, all you need to do is power up your first device and then you can use the Pogo on both devices. You can't use both of them at the same time, but what you can do is go to one phone and disconnect and then connect it on the second device. And when you're done with your second device, just press on the name, go back to your first device and then reconnect it. So this allows you to go from one device to the other one would have to repair the headphones. But keep in mind, you can't listen to the sound on both of them at the exact same time. It just wouldn't work out. Now that I showed you how to connect them, I'm gonna take a listen to them on the Galaxy S9. The headphones sound really clean in detail. Only things lacking for me is they could use a little bit more bass response. The fact that they go down to 40 hertz, maybe that little extra frequency is keeping them from just really vibrating my head really nicely. But overall, really good clarity. So now let me show you some of the controls on the headphones. So like I showed you earlier, this is where you press the volume up and down. And to change tracks, just press and hold the plus to go to the next track. You can also redial the last person that you talk to by double clicking on the stop button from their home screen. In order to end the call, just press it one time. So overall, I really like these headphones. I like the fact that you can connect two devices to it and then to be able to switch back and forth when I have to repair the headphones every time you use them. The sound quality was really good. Only thing for me is it lacked a little bit more bass response for the type of music that I listen to. But if you'd like to know more about these headphones, I'll leave a link in the description below. And like all my videos before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.